In eastern Ukraine, there is no end in sight as fighting rages on. In the town of Yakovlivka, a Russian tank fires a shell towards the position of a Ukrainian soldier. Who can stop this war? We don't want to provoke them, because then the Russians start firing again. Residents say there is no more electricity, running water or gas in Yakovlivka. The two-lane road was once used to send reinforcements to Severodonetsk and Lysychansk, two cities which are under siege in the neighboring region of Luhansk. The governor of Donetsk, the region where Yakovlivka is located, said Monday that battles were raging in the direction of Luhansk. This situation is difficult. The front line is under shelling at all times. There is heavy fighting in the direction of Luhansk in Liman. The enemy is trying to break through and capture Liman so it can push on with its offensive towards Slovyansk and Kramatorsk. The governor said that no more than 320,000 residents had stayed behind in Donetsk, a region which was once home to 1.6 million people. Close by in Bakhmut, some civilians say they've got no choice other than to stay. Everyone in my family has left. Only my mother and I are still here. I have nowhere to go. I've lived here all my life. The authorities in the area have been trying to convince civilians to leave. In some towns, evacuations have even been made mandatory. <laughs>